Welcome back, Time Cruisers. I'm your host, R.R. Slugger, and it looks like we've stepped right into the Twilight Zone for this next one. Today, we're going to be looking at the first of the Time Twisters series, the Time Tunnelator. Released in 1997, this set is one of two in the theme that actually has multiple set numbers associated with it, 6495 and 6499. The reason as to why? Well, we'll get to that. Before we do, however, let's reacquaint ourselves with Tony Twister. Just like his brother, Professor Millennium, Tony contains no new prints for the series and instead reuses a number of parts from previous LEGO themes. Normally, this may feel a tad bit cheap, but I think this actually lends to the idea that the Time Twisters don't belong here and are undeserving of the delicate nature of time travel. The fact that they both represent an amalgamation of past characters adds credence to the idea that they don't fully know what they're doing and could really do some damage to the space-time continuum. Now, I strongly doubt any of this was intentional world-building on LEGO's part, Nonetheless, I find that it adds a real sense of danger behind the Time Twisters that may have otherwise been lacking. Speaking of danger, what exactly is their evil plan? Well, simply put, it's a get-rich-quick scheme. The duo travel from place and time to steal objects of value, presumably selling them to the highest bidder. While this may not seem all that disruptive, I get the distinct impression that the Time Twisters are unconcerned with collateral damage or repercussions to the past and future. The Ministry would be furious. Tony Twister's trust in his Time Tunnelator can be traced to its totally transcendental time-traveling technology. Whoa. With its forward-facing flame funnel, the Time Tunnelator can rip a hole in the fabric of reality, allowing the vehicle to slip into what Dr. Cyber refers to as Zero Time, the quantum thread that tethers past, present, and future. The mechanism that allows the propeller to spin also causes the wings to flap in time with the turning wheels. This might be one of the most solid play features in all of Time Cruisers, a theme that is so often dismissed online for apparently having mechanisms that break apart easily. I've never really understood where this myth comes from, as Time Cruisers is no more fragile than its contemporaries, while still being inspiringly ambitious with its designs. However, if there is a fatal flaw to the Time Tunnelator, it's right here. This rear wheel is awful, and it severely hampers the fun factor found in the rest of the design. Originally intended for use as a string guide in LEGO cranes, this piece eventually found a second life as the rear wheel on various airplanes. The reason why it doesn't work for the Time Tunnelator specifically is because this is the only set of the lot where you need to roll it across a surface to use the play feature. If you have a rear wheel that doesn't roll, well, you get the idea. Luckily, this is an easy fix, and I recommend using the same single wheel piece that we saw throughout Time Cruisers. This sole change elevates the design immensely. In the past, I have made some more intrusive modifications to this set, but as mentioned in the previous episode, I don't really see these as necessary. While it is cool to free up some space for a chest to store loot, these mods are take it or leave it. Hailing from yet another LEGO Mania magazine, the Time Tunnelator actually has a true alternate build, the Bat Racer. It may look silly, but I've got to say, this is a top-tier alternate build. The Bat Racer is such a fun and inventive reuse of these pieces, I can't help but be impressed. While the play feature does put some stress on the elastic, and there isn't exactly a great place to hang on to it, this doesn't detract from the stunning display of spinning these bat wings. The front wheel rears its ugly head again, but all in all, this build makes for a perfect anachronistic vehicle for Basil the Batlord. Someone on the design staff was really thinking when they came up with this, and it makes me wish we could have seen more alt builds for this theme. There's one last aspect of this set that I still need to discuss. As alluded to earlier, there were two separate set numbers assigned to the Time Tunnelator. The reason? One of these releases came packaged with a free time machine. 
Taken on its own, this thing is pretty bizarre. But the truth is, the LEGO group was no stranger to including one-off plastic peripherals with certain sets. The Time Machine is molded from a durable dark grey plastic and features glittered stickers with some curious details. An inverted compass, reversed hourglass, and counterclockwise clock, just to name a few. My favorite aspect of this whole package is the way that the box fits into the mold. The printing on the back is actually leveled at the same angle as this inset, which I find hilarious. The inclusion of the time machine is eccentric, inventive, and thematic, all qualities Time Cruisers has in spades. The Time Tunnelator makes for an impressive first look at the Time Twisters subseries, and it gets a strong recommendation from me. As long as you have a spare part to fix its Achilles wheel, I think you will appreciate the Time Tunnelator's inspired construction and play features. I've been your host, RR Slugger, and time flies when you're having fun.